Hi, I'm Katya, and I'm Pony of the Sea, and this is my cat, Miyazu. <laughs> Welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, yeah, enjoy. So, at the end of April, my friend Gwendy and I did our first Artist Alley at Comic Con Cape Town. I've tagged her down below. This is probably the biggest market we've done so far since FanCon, which we did before the pandemic. Let me tell you, it was quite the commitment, both time-wise and financially, but in the end it was worth it and we had a great time. Because we were sharing a table, we decided to give our stall its own name, Pastel Moon. When we started designing our stall, we began by saving hundreds of thousands of Pinterest images, uh, looking for inspiration, looking for clever hacks. After my Pinterest binge, I went on Dolly, the AI thing. I created some unusable images that are still cool. And our idea was to each buy a cube storage unit, and then we would combine our units together to create one market stall for our shared table. So with that in mind, I started by creating this 3D model. Gwen made this design to scale. When I received my cube storage unit, I did a test setup on my desk at home. So I went into Photoshop and created this mock-up of what our stall could look like. So this is the selection of my best sellers and some fan art. So we've got my um, cat tarot stuff, we've got a tribute to The Shining, we've got some occult cats, cats having a seance, cats sacrificing to the great dark lords of the unknown. And this one's actually a tribute to Cthulhu. Here we have fan art of my cat, here he is in Mordor. Um, just generally a selection of stuff I thought could sell. Here's a closer look at the Eye of Sauron being viciously attacked by a cat. Here is a Madonna and child. Here's my cat Meowzus in a fairy ring. Here is our Lord and Savior Cthulhu under the sea. Um, Meowzus is there too. I like drawing my cats, he's amazing. And here's one of my cat tarot cards. I'm making a deck. Um, but in between that, I do these other occult cat drawings. I feel like there is a comic book in here somewhere. I'm working on it. Um, here are some cats with a Ouija board summoning a bigger cat. Here's a tribute to The Shining. But I call that The Shining Eyes. And here's another um, tarot card. Death. This is my favorite one that I've done. And yeah, so these were the A5 prints that I chose to solve. One thing I always really wanted to do was holographic stickers and I finally found a sticker supplier who does holographic stickers and I ended up creating eight different designs like with the A5 prints, kind of a mixture of my best-selling artworks. When my stickers finally came in the mail I was so excited, especially for the holographic stickers. The other thing I ordered were these round license disc stickers. These go in your car, you know, to stick your license disc to your windshield. And um, I have about 12 different designs of these. And these came from an experimental phase I had doing vector art and I always really liked them. And 
then I got the holographic stickers which I was so excited about um, these came out amazingly and I ended up ordering another batch but yeah very well done to Clico There was another shot of them in the sun, the colours were so intense and I really loved how they turned out. I obviously had to package them and so I put them in these A7 sleeves. My name was already printed on the sticker so I didn't do any crazy headers for these um, because I felt that they stood out on their own and they didn't need too much help from the packaging. These round stickers are a whole other story. So I packaged these in sort of CD sized cellophane. My first step is to package each sticker in its cellophane packaging. And after all that's done, then I go ahead and I press them between some books to make them lay flat. These are a whole lot of work to package, but I like making them look nice. And so I created special packaging headers for these. And then here you can see me cutting out some sticker headers. So usually I would cut these out by myself and I did, I cut out hundreds of these, but I ran out and when it got closer to Comic Con, I actually ended up finding a printer who just cut them out for me and they were really nice about it and it saved me a whole lot of time. But usually I would just cut these out by hand and hope that I don't cut myself and die because I have no coordination. After they cut, I score them using this perforator blade which lets me fold them nicely in half. So here we go, lots of cutting, just me and a metal ruler and perseverance. Here's a close-up of one of my sticker headers. I prefer these stickers to my least annoying acquaintances. Good, better, best. Unparalleled fanciness. Such cool stickers. These stickers changed my life. And then on the back I just have some of my details. And then after all the cutting and scoring, I staple each sticker with exactly two staples. And then I punch a hole. And then finally they're done. Like, I guess I don't have to put so much work into it, but it's nice 
um, playing around with my brand and creating cool stuff that I think looks nice. Here's a whole pile of freshly folded and scored sticker headers. Cat break. These are the sticker headers that the printers did for me. You can see there's like 200 in there. Here's my second batch of stickers that I got from Pico, and that's the other half of the holographic stickers. I tried to space out my printing so I could handle this whole endeavor financially. <laughs> Also, so I could split my packaging into bite-sized pieces. So here you can see, here are the Mew Maids, uh, the Ouija Cats, the Fairy Ring Cats, this is Meowsus, who you just saw. Here's the koi fish. This is part of one of my bigger drawings. And I think this came out really nicely. And here you can see all the different designs that I got printed in the holographic vinyl. And they're all A7 size. And don't they look amazing in the light? And yeah, I just packaged hundreds of these. Okay, not hundreds. I think I printed about 30 of each. Because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna sell. But 30 of each seemed like a decent number. Not too ostentatious a number. Here they are all neatly packaged and ready for selling. They still have a nice glow even through the plastic. Here's a pile of paper punch holes from all that punching. Here's a pile of freshly packed licensed to stickers. A lot of hard work, but really satisfying. And then it was time to go fetch my art prints from Weight Ink in Woodstock. Their prints always come out amazing. So I get my art prints she clay printed at their archival and last a really long time. And also the ink looks amazing um, with she clay printing. Everything's velvety and black and it really brings out the details. So here I am unboxing, unpackaging them if you will. So first up we have the fairy ring print. This features my cat Meowsus um, in a ring of mushrooms. I really love how this turned out. That's why I made a sticker version as well. Here, here's the star himself, the main character. Speaking of the main character, um, I also drew this fan art of Meowsus actually destroying the Tower of Sauron. I think this is a great alternate ending of Lord of the Rings. Just my cat destroying the Tower of Sauron. Next up we have this little eldritch scene of Meowsus spying on our Lord and Savior Cthulhu um, under the sea in the Kingdom of Brilia or whatever.
On the back of each A5 print, I usually put these little nameplates which have a bit of detail about each print, um, how it was printed, what paper I used, and some, some of my socials and my website. And I hand cut these individually, and it's very tedious. I think I must have cut out thousands of these in my life. Uh, they're pretty similar to my business card. And then what I do is I stick these nameplates to A5 pieces of chipboard because we want to keep each print nice and sturdy and undamaged for when it reaches the customer. Then I package each print in cellophane. When I receive my A5 prints, they're usually separated by a piece of tissue paper so they don't get damaged. Let's see what this one is. So this is my Ouija Cats print featuring three cats um, performing a summoning. You can see there, there's Meowsis again. He really is my muse. This print is Mermaid Tears and it's a jar of genuine pickled mermaids brined in the tears of desolation. This is my cat seance print, hands down my best seller. It's a bunch of cats trying to transfigure a toy mouse into a real mouse. They are sacrificing catnip to get the job done. After I've put each print in its cellophane packaging, then it's time to tape it up. This is also quite tedious, but I haven't found an exact A5 cellophane sleeve yet. I've been looking. But I really like how they turn out. Here's some glamorous shots of my cat because he's amazing. And here's a pile of freshly packaged prints. This is my death tarot card print. Here's The Shining. This one I call Madonna and Child. I love the detail on this one.
This is the lover's tarot card. This is one of the first cat tarot cards I drew. This one's called Flaming Hearts. And it's two cats in some sort of flame temple performing a ritual. Here is the muse and the artwork. Art versus muse. And here's the absolute Armageddon that befell my flat in the days leading up to Comic Con. I was just trying to sort out all my stock and yeah, I have a lot of stock. It took up my whole couch, my whole kitchen table. But all of it managed to fit into one box, which is great. Here's my absolute mess of a desk. Still trying to clean this mess up. So yeah, tune in for part two to see how the actual event went. Bye.